Let's begin from a motor having 12 slot, two pole, squirrel cage, three phase induction motor, whose chain, concentric, and mesh type of windings are going to be illustrated. First, the number of coil groups, represented by a letter K, which is equal to the number of poles divided by 2 and then multiplied by 3. This provides 3. That means there is one coil group per phase. Second, the number of slots per pole per phase. It's represented by a letter Q, which gives us 2. That means there are two coils in each coil group. Hence, phase A, B and C respectively have two coils of each. At the result, 2 multiplied by 3 of those phases, which is 6. From which we can understand that the total number of coils is equal to half the number of slots. It's due to a single layer winding type. Third, coil pitch. The number of slots divided by the number of poles, which is 6. 6 is termed as a full or average pitch or pole pitch, which is 180 degree electrical. We can choose 5 as a coil pitch or as a coil span due to the chain type of windings have equal coil span. So 5 is the shortest pitch or coil span. Fourth, the electrical angle. The electrical angle can be found by multiplying the number of poles by 180 degree and it becomes 360 degree and is represented by the letter gamma. Fifth, the angle between the adjacent slots represented by a letter alpha and is calculated as dividing the electrical angle by the number of slots and it becomes 30 degree. Six, the distance between the beginning of each phase is the ratio of the phase shift angle between the three phase power supply, which is 120 degree by the angle between the adjacent slots 30 degree and it becomes four. Each of those three phases are now four slots apart. If the beginning of phase A is slot number one, then the beginning of phase B is one plus four, which is equal to five. That means the fifth slot. And the beginning of phase C is two multiplied by four and then add up one, which is equal to nine. That means the ninth slot. If you proceed and multiply four, which is the distance between the beginning of each phase by three and add up one, then you will get 13s. Now it depicts that the first slot is terminated. Phase distribution across the slot. We have got the angle between the adjacent slots 30 degree, so in case of a phase distribution across each slot, 30 degree is the angle between A and C prime. This illustration does not mean that the angle between C prime and B is 30 degree and the angle between phase A and B is 60 degree. Rather, the phase distribution represents the sequence or the pattern that is going to be distributed based on the above findings. The number of slots per pole per phase, besides the number of coils in each coil group, it tells us how many times do those letters are going to be repeated by maintaining phase sequence order. So, as you can see, 30 degree is the angle between the second and the third slot, and in a similar manner, the angle between C prime and B is also 30 degree, but this angle is found in between the fourth and the fifth slot, and now, 120 degree phase shift is attained between phase A and B. Connection diagram. Those three rectangles represent the number of coil group. Hence, there are one coil group or rectangle per phase. Let's start the coil insertion from slot number one. Then add the shortest coil span or coil pitch, which is five, to the left. Then insert the remaining coil sides into the A's slot. While the second slot is the next slot for the second coil in phase A coil group, so 
add the coil span or the coil pitch to the right, then you will get slot number 7. From the general rules, that the coil groups in each phase should be interconnected by joining the unlike leads. That means start to finish or finish to start. Here in this case, 8 is the end of the first coil and 2 is the beginning or the start of the second coil. So it is possible to interconnect them. Then phase A starts at the first slot and the end of the second coil which is in slot number 7 becomes A prime. The arrows indicates the direction of flow of current. In a similar fashion, you can do the rest of the other two phases. If you have noticed in phase C, coil group, the direction of the arrows are changed. Because of the current entering into a node is equal to the current leaving a node and helps us in representing the north and the south poles. As we have said earlier, chain type of windings have a diamond shape with equal coil span or coil pitch. So as to attain as such a diagram, we need to move on to the right. As the result, flip or twist upside down symmetry with respect to the slanted line or jumper line each coils in each phase group due to this priority is given to the coils those goes to the right first Let's try to draw its diagram by using AutoCAD electrical software.